Here is one of the most powerful fans in my entire collection. I have two of these. Actually, I had four of them, but two of them I actually gave away. One to my sister and one to my nephew. His is still here, but it's in the room. Interestingly enough, he hasn't taken it with him since he moved out, but I'm not quite sure why he didn't want to do it. But nevertheless, it's his. I gave it to him. But I have two of my own now. And this is one of them. Very powerful Air King, 9218. No, I'm not getting the 20 inch. I don't have room for it. And it's way too loud. It's way too powerful. It's too strong for this room. So this is just the right size. It has three rounded type blades. Look very much like the older style Lakewoods. Um, let's go ahead and run it. The blades are made of steel. They're not aluminum at all by any means. So let's go ahead and run it. It's very powerful. So we'll start off on low, then we'll work our way back up to uh, high. Also, this fan rattles a little bit because the motor is kind of jacked up and the blades are out of balance. So just be aware of that. But it is a good air mover. Because the blade is out of balance, it's shaking the entire guard. It's unfortunate. And then uh, the motor has no problems at all, but it's just the blade causing all that shaking, all that rattling. Full power. Full power. Here we go. It's like a tornado. All right, and the spin down. Enjoy the long spin down. Spin down is longer than most fans because, again, the blades are made of steel. The reason why the fan blade is out of balance is because one blade is heavier than the other two, which is unfortunate. I don't know why Lasko did that. It is what it is. Thanks for watching. God bless you, Angon. Lamont the Fan Man and